See, what I'm trying to help you to understand, church, is that the body of Christ, to, to a large degree, has been off course. Because we really have put secondary things before primary things. And God is strategically taking the body of Christ through an aligning. There's a realigning that is happening, a restructuring that is happening in the body of Christ because we have put all of these other gifts above love and God is saying that ain't it. That is not what I told you to do. And you must understand that the Corinthian church, they were spirit filled, they were speaking in tongues and they had a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. Y'all better hear me now. If you study 1st and 2nd Corinthians, they had a whole lot of crazy stuff going on. They were gifted. They were talented. But they were operating in the gifts of the Spirit out of order. They had all kind of debauchery going on. There was incest. There was all kind of sexual immorality. All kind of craziness was happening in this church. And Paul is trying to bring order and correction into their understanding and their perspective so that they would not be lost although they were saved. Because, I need you to hear this, because you can be saved and be lost. I know, I know it sounds like a contradiction. It sounds like an oxymoron. But you can be in the light and be living in darkness. You can be spirit filled and still be led by the vanity of your mind and live a very carnal defeated life if you don't renew your mind to the truth of God's word and understand what is actually required of you and begin to allow the word and the spirit of God to upgrade your perspective so that you can see what's really going on. And so Paul says that you can have all knowledge this is for the deep people. You can have all knowledge and still not have love. Still lost. Still wandering in the darkness. Still controlled by religion. Still wallowing in the realms of flesh and carnality and never able to come into the knowledge of the truth. This is why the word declares that you could be ever learning, ever learning, ever gaining knowledge, forever uh, learning new things, forever searching out this and that, studying this and studying that, and yet never come into the knowledge of the truth and not have the love of God. 